This is a weapon storage and test site. And this is a rundown abandoned school. What do they have in common? Well, they're both going to be blown up by this cinematic bomb, which is the biggest bomb in the game teardown. How powerful is the explosion? Well, take a look at this. So, first up, we're going to blow up the school. First of all, we need to pick a proper location to place the bomb. Something a bit to the center of the school, so a bit to the left. Here's a rusted door, can it open? What was once this room? Looks like it's. It used to be an old classroom. The desk seems to be pretty intact, though. That's rather surprising. Anyway, um, I think in this hall it might be good enough. You can break this. Good. Okay, now let's get the bomb out. I'm gonna place it right over here. And I do hope you enjoyed the explosion. Okay, I believe we are in a good position to view the explosion. Keep an eye on those construction equipment at the bottom of the screen. And well, that was the explosion at least the cinematic bomb, throwing debris everywhere and wiping out the entire left hand side of the school, and even revealing a bit of a basement I didn't even know existed before. And is that water here? I can't see a reflection, so this probably is water actually. But anyway, that explosion threw debris as far into the forest as well, I guess as the map goes. I'm sure even if you look here, yep. That's some debris from the explosion that happened all the way over there. And I don't know how many of you noticed this, but if you were looking at the construction equipment, you'll notice that this crane in specific was shaken up quite a lot, like it was really rocking. And you can see debris made its way all the way over here, even to the truck parked all the way to the right of this abandoned school. But yeah. Okay, that was stating. The crane is still, the excavator is still in perfect condition though, so that's a plus. Anyway, on to the second explosion. Okay, and here we are at the testing site, this time at night, because I think the explosion will look coolest at, well, night. And let's place it on top of this roof actually, because I want to see how the explosion travels downwards, like towards gravity, if you get what I'm saying. Wait, can we place it? Yep. I want to place it inside of the crate right here. Perfect. I'm lighting up the entire crate. Let's go from this side so we really can't see. Like, if you're a helicopter passing here, you won't notice a huge devastating bomb in there. Anyway, let's blow this thing up. And yes, that was the explosion. 
wiped out to try everything in the middle over here. Surprisingly, these crates are okay and they can't be destroyed, so they have some pretty decent structural integrity. This crate, however, yeah, that's very charred and burnt and destroyed. Luckily, there were no more explosives in there, but it does sort of give me an idea for another video. And going on to the main piece protesting site, we can see at the back here. Whatever this is, is, on, is totally on fire. So I can't tell anymore what it's supposed to be. I believe I saw a flyer to the front. Yep. Not sure what this may be a wooden staircase, maybe some shells. Don't know, but that's a pretty intense flame inside here. These electronic equipment are still okay. And there's something weird over there. Something that's moving. I wonder, if we do that, will that attack us? Um, I just broke your leg. And you're walking without a kneecap. Interesting. That's pretty weird. Hmm. Well, we'll check that out some other time. Anyway, whatever this is, it is totally in flames. I mean, like, on fire. The second floor is... I wonder what the second floor is doing. Um, can't really see. It was definitely a second floor here, but that's, well, long gone. This side, however, is mostly okay. These train tracks were mostly unharmed, for the large part. Anyway, this looks to be it for today's video. If there's something particular you want to see, well, let me know in the comments section or share my very best to do it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.